If you're leaving your shop with a nice big bag full of money, they'll try and target you on the way to the bank. So if you are doing that, just try and change it up a bit. Different bags, containers, different people take the money to the bank. Uh, another thing to do is to have a plan what to do with Rob if you've been robbed. So what we mean with that is uh, your safety is paramount. Property is only property. Money is only money. So if someone does confront you, especially if they're armed, then don't try and fight them off. Just hand over the property and, um, and make sure you don't get hurt. Because it does happen, unfortunately, where people try and defend themselves or hold on to property and they get injured. Um, and we don't want that. So just some other basic ideas. When you go to public places, don't leave your bags lying around, especially when you're shopping on the trolley. Uh, that, that's pretty easy. Um, so they suggest some other things around there about putting your feet on the straps of the bags, uh, having someone else keep an eye on it all the times. Avoid dark places and isolated places. That's mainly for if you're travelling at night. So go where other people are. Park your car where other people are parking their cars. Don't go right to the back of a car park and where it's dark and park your car. It's pretty straightforward. Um, so public places. So obviously when people are out and about, sometimes we have uh, criminals that look to uh, steal from them or try and take their phones, that type of thing. So we suggest wherever people are going, just to let your family know. Um, make sure you've got a phone with you. That's a really good idea. Some people suggest that night to have a torch or a whistle or some other way. If you do get confronted, we suggest you just call out in a loud voice, help, 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 call the police. That normally deters offenders. Um, ATMs, uh, this is another location. We call it a soft target. Because obviously some doesn't happen all the time. It's quite rare these days with all the video footage around. But uh, a lot of criminals used to hang around the ATMs. I'd see maybe an elderly lady go to the ATM, draw lots of money out. And then as they walk into back to their car, they would approach them and try and steal their handbag. So just have a look around when you do go to an ATM. If you see anyone hanging around, go on to the next ATM, call the police. Um, and uh, avoid, try to avoid using cash where you can and if you're only what's needed, that's what's recommended. Now, in Springvale, we have a lot of public transport areas, such as the railway lines and the shopping centre car parks. Unfortunately, a lot of criminals like to target these areas. And what they do is they walk along in between the cars, they have a look and see what's inside, they look for bags, they look for the phones, they look for the GPSs and the nav names, and they break into it. So what we say to people is, put all those goods underneath the seats in the boot of your car, um, don't leave them in open view because you're just asking for your car to be broken into. We try and patrol these areas as much as we can, but unfortunately we can't be there all the time. And they're straight in and out, so they'll go in, they'll break into half a dozen cars and move on. So just try and keep all those things away. And a lot of the CVs now have those pullover carriers at the back of the cars, so pull your things in the boot and put that over. So at home, um, obviously it's the same as with your businesses. Locks are very important. Um, window locks, sliding locks also help. It's not just about them breaking in, but it's also about them getting out. So if you're coming through a window and your doors are deadlocked, but it's very hard for them to pick up large quantities of goods and get out your front door. So it's a good idea to use deadlocks. Um, the other thing is, is jewellery and papers. Um, try and keep copies of those somewhere safe, especially valuations and things like that for your jewellery or pictures, which help us to try and track your property down at a later time. Uh, engravings, another technique we suggest people use, engraving your tools with a licence number, um, your DVDs and things like that. Um, other things they suggest are security doors. Uh, again, lighting is a very big thing, so if you have lots of light in the front of your house, especially around the back of your house for the security lights, if someone comes into your backyard and the lights go on, nine times out of ten they'll jump out the back, uh, jump over the back fence and, and go somewhere else. Um, if you're going to go away on holidays or you're out for a long time, a good idea is to leave a light on a home, a radio, that sort of thing. It's pretty sort of straightforward. Uh, a lot of people these days are putting security cameras into the house. Uh, that helps us a lot when we have burglars going from house to house doing break-ins. We do a door knock, we ask around if anyone's seen anyone suspicious. A lot of people bring up video footage and you can clearly see your offenders. Um, you get very cheap systems from Bunnings and other places like that and it certainly helps us uh, other suggestions are dogs, house alarms, and that sort of thing. If you go on holidays, try and avoid having your mail building up. Have it diverted or have a relative or neighbour take your mail out. It's one of the things that the criminals do when they're driving around. So they look for houses that aren't um, 
uh, occupied. So if your house looks like you've got a car in it, the lights are on, things of that night are less likely to break into your house.